Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny, episode number uh, 559. Damn, bitch, fine. Uh, Do it today, it's what, the weekend? I'm just relaxing. Slept all day. Literally, I called in, I slept all day. Like a fucking piece of shit. It felt good. I kept having dreams where I felt like I was actually awake, but I wasn't. You know, those drama mean type dreams. But, uh, whatever, I slept, I'm up, uh, recording some random gaming shit. It, it was actually fun. I was playing a couple of games, one called Cell Blazers, that I, I thought was going to be kind of, like, weird. But I actually kind of got, like, once you get past, like, the weird learning curve, it was actually pretty entertaining. And, uh, I mean, I had to connect, like, a mouse and a keyboard and a use my controller because i'm so such an old gamer that i need a controller but uh i actually got used to it it was actually pretty entertaining uh once you get past like the learning curve it, it, it's fun and then another game called uh what was it called please stop crying that was fun that, you should you should play that game please stop crying that's fun it's only like three bucks on steam it's 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 a fun little game <laughs> it's very real life. These games are very much like real life, but that'll be on the channel live. Uh, if you want to see that, me just playing games and talking shit like I, I do. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the news because there's a lot of random news here. Um, let me see. I need to go grocery shopping too. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I got some packages I need to drop off and some groceries I need to sh- shop. I got coupons at the Dollar General. Um, so the news here. So you're gonna okay. Lizzo shares I quit message on Instagram says she is tired of being put up with be dragged. Uh, okay. So yeah, I know Lizzo look, she shared an Instagram post here. I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it, but I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. I'm constantly up against lies being told about me for clout and views, being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I did not sign up. I didn't sign up for this shit. I quit. And then a peace sign emoji, but it's like a black person's hand peace sign emoji because she's a black person. Um. So I don't know what she's quitting. She just says she's quit. She quit. I don't think uh, she's quitting eating because that's kind of her thing that she stays overweight. I don't think she's going to quit music because how else is she going to fund her food, (laughs) all the food that she needs to eat? And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, her music's not bad. I'm not into it. And I think a lot of people make fun of her because they care because she's fat. No, they, I don't know. She's just easy to make fun of fat people. Fat people have always been easy to make fun of. Like, it's just a classic trope, you know, fat. Oh, you're fat. It's hilarious. You know, fat people doing skinny people things is hilarious. You know, it's just funny. Of course, you know, now what? you're fat phobic if you make fun of fat people or fat phobia or i don't know what it's called right lardo phobia but lizzo um she's a public figure a big old figure and now she she's gonna get made fun of like what can you do but like just deal with it and i think it really got to her when all these accusations came out of her having those like weird ass sex parties and sticking bananas and like women's vaginas and dudes buttholes and stuff Uh, which I don't think she's really denied it. (laughs) So uh, I could see her being like a weird person and then trying to uh, hide behind the fact that she's, well, y'all are just trying to bring me down because I'm an overweight black female. And it's like, no, it's just because you're weird. Um, Not that that's a bad thing, but you need to not use your power for, um, you know, sexual uh shit like that you know don't don't go the diddy route Did, we've all know uh what happened to diddy did it do dot do, 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 do doing that so yeah but prayers to lizzo she needs it all easter she's gonna go eating uh all the eggs and 
the rabbit and everything and the bread of Jesus Christ, uh, our Lord and Savior, because Christ is King. Uh, next here on the news, seven hurt after Newark bound United flight experiences turbulence. I don't know. Uh, seven people were hurt and unseriously after a United plane headed to New York experienced high turbulence. Dude, I don't know what's up with these planes. Like a lot of people are, it's coming out that they get like fucked up on planes. You know, it's like, and again, I think it's because um, the engineers and the pilots and all that that are coming up that are new to it are not being trained correctly or oh uh, yeah that they're retarded <laughs> they're not being trained correctly like uh they, they're not hiring the right people for like right jobs they're just hiring people based off of uh race or gender or other stuff and not going off of oh shit this person really knows how to uh build a plane or fly a plane or handle people on a plane and I don't know. I, I I would never want to fly a plane. Like I said, if um, I've always said if if God wanted us to fly, He would have given us wings. But whatever. Um, yeah, I'm not a plane person. I'm barely even a automobile person, let alone a walking person. So, you know, it, it's weird that all this is coming out though at the same time. So, um, yeah, just stay safe if you're gonna travel. Especially for Easter or the eclipse or any of the other uh, random shit that you might be uh, traveling for, you know. Speaking of the eclipse, Canada's Niagara region declares a state of emergency to prepare for an influx of eclipse viewers. Uh, so they've they've declared a state of emergency as it prepares to welcome up to a million visitors to Niagara Falls on the Canada side because apparently there's two sides here. There's the American side and the Canada side. I guess the Canada side is uh, weaker and more of a pussy because they're declaring, declaring a state of emergency, getting ready for people to show up for the eclipse. And the city is in the path of totality where the moon will entirely block the sun's rays for a few minutes. Uh, Niagara Falls said, the mayor said early or in March that he expects most visitors his city has ever seen in a single day. So do the dam, I mean, the Niagara Falls where the river is or whatever, the waterfall might fucking, uh, <laughs> with all the people standing there, the millions, they, it might just break. And then, uh, I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> I know. I don't care. Nah, I don't know. I don't see the big deal with the eclipse. Uh, if I have to, I'll go outside and see it. But I don't really care. It's what is the eclipse? It's dark. That's, that's basically what it is, right? You're, you're, it's it's dark, and you just deal with it. Whatever the the Ram, people on Ramadan can cheat because they can the sun's out, and then it's dark, and they can grab a pack of Lay's sour cream potato chips and eat that shit real quick. While it's in totality, and bam, you got yourself um, um, Ganesh's loophole or whatever their god is. What is their god? Ganesh? Something like that, right? The weird elephant god with eight arms or something. Um, speaking of gods, uh, Pope skips Good Friday event to preserve health ahead of Easter, Vatican says. <laughs> He's like a wrestler. He's uh, skipping uh, the house shows to get the, the main events. Um, Pope Francis skipped the traditional Good Friday procession at Rome's Colosseum to protect his health, the Vatican said, making a last-minute decision that added to concerns about his frail condition during a particular busy period. So yeah, he's he's got he's having to be a working champion right now because this Easter is kind of like their WrestleMania, and he has to actually come out and do shit. But he's all sick, and I don't get it. Like. When people are sick, they they go to the Pope and they kiss him or whatever. Or he kisses them, whatever weird sh magic shit that goes down. Right? Um, he does the triangle sign and shoots it at them at their head. Uh, why can't the Pope kids just like kiss himself? You know, like kiss his own boo boos, and then they go away. Wouldn't that work? Or is is that like flawed magic logic in the Christ is King type thing? You know. Uh, 
you feel i feel like that would work you you, you know like in their in their world that would work if he kissed himself he would heal himself you know and i'm not saying like a passionate kiss just a little even he like even if he like uses his drool on a wound you know it'll heal it but that's the pope i guess he's sick and he's getting ready for easter i'm sure they'll use ai or something to have him pop up like a projection oh sorry man i keep yawning it's it's fucking like five in the morning I, and i'm just here chilling uh, I, I got other stuff to do what i have to do tomorrow so i have to do school work i have to uh sleep i have to eat go oh i have to go like i said drop off those packages so there's a lot to do <laughs> so much to so much time and so little to do uh but yeah maybe they'll get wonka to replace um the pope that'd be cool wonka <laughs> crisis king um lastly here on the news spinning and whirling strange fish behavior sparks emergency government response and so the u.s government is mounting an emergency response in an effort to save a unique and endangered fish found off the coast of florida uh so apparently it's a type of sawfish uh, that is acting all weird and wonky, and they don't know why, and they're trying to save it so it doesn't die. And I'm just like, dude, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say this in a nice way. Who cares? Like, we're, we're really dying. Like, people are dying out here. Uh, you know, Lizzo's here, like, causing the world to... She might leave music, and, you know, and the Pope is sick, and uh, the eclipse is coming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, the uh, Russia's about to go to war, um, they're sending rockets to the moon conveniently when the eclipse is going down, and here you are like, you know what, we gotta save this random swordfish from dying, because it's acting weird. And then it's like, well, you, you're the ones that made the frogs gay with the fucking fluoride and Bohemian Grove and all that. So it's kind of your fault, right? You're you're trying to do an Iron Man and be the hero um, to the problem you've caused. Like, why, why should we thank you if you're the one causing the problem after you solve it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just tired of of the world. I'm tired of people. Uh, and then I, like I said, I got a lot of homework to do. And uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe we just need to. We really need to read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and understand um, that Wonka is the better way to go than Christ, because Willy Wonka himself is kind of like jesus in a way giving birth and healing well he, he didn't give birth but i mean like re re getting people reborn and healing and um passing judgment and just making the world a better place with chocolate and other you know stuff like the glass elevator that they really should do a movie about because that was the actual sequel uh instead of just doing prequels you know, the glass elevator, which is kind of like going to heaven and ascending, you know, like Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior did. So, yeah, Wonka is king. Understand that. And um, understand also that that's that's all funny. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. Uh, available anywhere podcasts are really just search That's all funny. Uh, I have a podcast my buddy Kate called That's All Kate Day, where we talk about wrestling and depression. Uh, Check that out. Uh, that's all Kate Day. Search for it. Uh, if you want to see video versions of the of this and the other podcasts, check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Got video versions of that. I also play games on the weekends. Got recordings of that. And also do a live show with the wonderful Mint Salad called Tits and Areolas. That's where we watch a movie. Where we talk about a movie we watch and then play a little game. That's on Tuesdays at 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern PM. Uh, live on Twitter and, or X and YouTube. Check that out. Uh, if you want to support the podcast anymore, check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Lorenzo Areola. 
uh, five dollars a month gets you everything early episodes bonus episodes ad free episodes deleted episodes uh, or if you want to buy any merch for the podcast check out the website www.retrohoring.com you got a uh, merch t-shirts stickers prints uh all the art done by the great at retro horror inc on instagram and twitter check them out there the bret hart graphic art uh get get it while you can while it's hot uh check me out lorenzo Ariola on twitter and instagram thanks to all you take